Now let's learn about our third artery. We track and manage all requirements for the system. Valerie King Bailey brings a smile to my face. You can't help but when you meet her to just feel the positive energy and be drawn to that interaction. Fantastic. Thanks so much for that. I think this is just an amazing story of her coming from the projects in Chicago, losing her father at age seven, there with her mother and her commitment to education and hard work and diligence and perseverance and never giving up and look at where she is now. Valerie's business provides compliance support for life science companies in the pharmaceutical area, providing solutions to actually help the pandemic. Validation Master has been a key platform that has helped them be compliant, meeting many of the regulatory standards and doing this in a very efficient way. So an organization can manage their full enterprise quality management system by just looking at this view. Valerie had the drive and the passion to uh, grow her business, but like many diverse founders, she ran into some roadblocks. Less than 1% of capital goes to businesses founded by African-American and Black founders and significantly less of that goes to black women. She had to rely on her own personal financial resources to start her business and to grow her business. And then to grow it to the level that she had is significant because you know less than 10% of businesses led by uh, people of color make it to beyond a million dollars. And then when you look at a women-owned business, you know it's a very small, small group. Valerie was always going to be successful in what she did, whether it was working for a company or working for herself. And I think she recognized that she had a lot of expertise, and a lot of knowledge, a lot of drive. And I think it was just a logical direction for her to go and set up her own business and apply that energy and enthusiasm that she has, as well as the expertise to her own business, rather than doing it for someone else. To me, what distinguishes her is she embraces the obligation and responsibility of being the role model by making herself available, by connecting and spending her time on trying to help attract uh, more inner city youth to the science, technology, engineering, and math uh, fields. Those businesses like Valerie's become a role model for women of color, for women in tech, for diverse tech founders, of how they can scale their businesses and be able to show how to overcome some of the challenges to grow a fantastic business. Thank you, everybody, and good evening. Um, I can't tell you how overwhelmed I am by receiving this award tonight. There are so many people to thank. I could go all the way back to my grade school teachers, but I want to thank a couple of people who actually are in our presence tonight. When I was at the University of Wisconsin, in, uh, I started in 1976, I was dating a guy named Vincent Bailey, and my husband of 37 years, but my partner of 47 years, is here to celebrate with me. Also, our son, my firstborn, decided to share the evening with me this evening, so Vincent Bailey Jr. is here. My kids and my pride and joy, my 
my daughter just moved to um, uh, California and she couldn't be here. I have two children. So I'm very proud of my children and uh, what they've done. Tonight, we're here to celebrate innovation. And I am here tonight as a product of the University of Wisconsin, Madison. It's a long story about my journey to the university, but I can tell you now that the reason I'm here, the reason why I'm able to celebrate with you tonight is because of the preparation that the University of Wisconsin gave me. I have literally been around the world traveling all around the world, um, not only with my own company, but other previous companies that I've worked with, like Abbott Laboratories, for example, um, in life sciences, but technology companies like Documentum, which was an enterprise document management company. The thing that I learned and that I took away from the University of Wisconsin is to never quit and always be innovating, always be thinking. Wisconsin taught me how to think. Wisconsin taught me the spirit of excellence. And that's what all of the award winners are here for tonight. I have a sub-zero refrigerator in my kitchen. <laughs> the CEO and congratulate him. It's a damn good refrigerator right now. And uh, I'm so honored to be honored, not only with him, but the other honorees that are on the panel with us tonight. All of us, the spirit of what we've learned from Wisconsin, the spirit of what Wisconsin is all about, it's all about excellence and it's all about service to our fellow man. That's what we're all here for. I continue in the pursuit of excellence today and the pursuit of advanced technology that I deliver to our customers. Um, as you heard during the introduction, I work with life sciences companies. And about eight years ago, uh, Moderna actually called on Onshore Technology Group to validate not only their system, but their cold chain process. Little did we know that there would be a global pandemic that would call for their products. If I don't do what I do well, they don't do what they do well. So I'm really grateful, truly grateful, for the wonderful opportunity that my career has provided for me and the opportunity that I've had to attend this great institution. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm dressed, but I love <laughs> University of Wisconsin. And I love the fact that thank you for recognizing the value and the contributions that entrepreneurs all over the world, but specifically Wisconsin entrepreneurs bring to the table. I'm deeply grateful for this honor tonight and for all of the wisdom and the courage and the strength that I have gathered from being a student here at the University of Wisconsin. I always tell people when they ask me about my experience here, it literally is the best thing I've ever done besides Mary and Vincent <laughs> in my entire life. So thank you all. Thanks to all of my professors. I have wonderful, wonderful professors while I was here. And as you know, the uh, chairman of um, Sub-Zero said, this doesn't happen in a vacuum. It happens because there are people around you that love you. There are people who tutored you and taught you all along the way. I'm grateful for every person that has contributed anything in my life. And I'm certainly grateful to my alma mater that I love so dearly, the University of Wisconsin, for honoring me with this great honor tonight. And I thank all of you for attending tonight. Thank you.